Well, for a bit more on all of this, Annette Young, the host of our 51% programme, is with me here in the studio. And Annette, as Claire was saying there, we think this will pass today. And it's worth emphasising that this will be a first, not just for France, but globally, France really sort of leading the way on enshrining women's rights in a constitution. Nadia, it is such a historic day mm. for this country. There's no doubt about it. Because if you look at the bulk of the EU, most countries do have in place laws that support abortion rights. But at the same time, we are also witnessing an emerging right-wing populist wave who are saying or threatening to overturn those laws and policies or certainly make it much more complicated in order to gain access to a termination. For instance, if you look at Hungary, pregnant uh, women are there, are made to listen to the heartbeat of the fetus before they make that decision whether or not they want to go ahead with the procedure. Um, in Poland, for instance, the far-right Law and Justice Party literally outlawed abortion. Uh, now we have a new Prime Minister, uh, Donald Tusk, who's doing his best to overturn those laws but is finding it very difficult. Then you do have Malta, who also had the most extreme laws on abortion, uh, to the point that back in 2022, an American female tourist had to be medevaced from the island because she was in her early stage of pregnancy, having complications, and the only way she was going to survive was to have a termination, but she couldn't have it in Malta. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, ironically, a year ago, Maltese MPs voted to just slightly water down the existing law. But as Claire just said there, it's a very different political landscape here in France because we know somewhere around 86% of the population supports abortion rights, and as a result... As far as all the political parties were concerned, it was obviously going to be go through, and, and, and we suspect that will be the case today. And it is also worth emphasising, Annette, that the government here in France taking action because it's really had its eyes on what we've been watching in the United States over the past couple of years with the rollback on reproductive rights there. Absolutely. And literally within weeks of that uh, court decision, the decision by the US Supreme Court in June 2022, mm. a group of women MPs started talking about the need to enshrine abortion within the Constitution. Now, this there was an original attempt back in 2017, just after uh, President Macron was voted into the first term, but that didn't get the support that it needed. Of course, the whole world changed following the demise of of uh, Roe v Wade, it sent a very clear message to those who support reproductive rights that if you want to protect reproductive rights, if you want to make sure that in future governments there's no sort of far-right or ultra-conservative leader who decides to walk back those laws or dial them back in any or water them down, then you need to do something pretty significant. So it was a bipartisan approach. Mm -hmm. It wasn't actually from Macron himself. It was from women on both sides of the political spectrum. And uh, as a result, we now have what we are witnessing today, uh, the historic meeting of these two uh, chambers of parliament voting to enshrine uh, abortion into the nation's constitution. Annette Young, thank you very much.